Hey, Dr. Shakib here from Irvine Spine and Wellness Center, your Irvine Chiropractic and Wellness Clinic. And I'm here with Dean, and we are working on the hip sockets, opening the hip sockets and really conditioning the pelvic area, which is so crucial in movement. So make sure you watch. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let's begin. So uh, this is just basically a sample, uh, a sample video of what really happens in the office for certain cases. So uh, Dean, in this case, we're going to be um, sitting with our hips right here, stack on top of the knees, and we are engaging our core. So we're pushing the fingers out, metaphorically speaking. The bar barrel is engaged. So what I want you to do is instead of leaning, that's right, I think it's best if you're over here so people can see also what Dean is seeing. So instead of bending this way to bring this leg up, I want you to maintain as if I have this thing stuck here, pinned it to me. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure, see how what happens if I yes. do that? Versus if I keep everything nice and solid, I can still go that way. See how this mm -hmm. is all stacked, only lifted that way instead of this being pushed up. So I'm going to maintain that. And of course, I'm doing this in a slow-mo, but I want to maintain that as I bring this up. And then I keep everything that solid to distribute on both sides. So I know that's a challenge because Dean's doing this. So I know his brain's working really hard to make sure he's gonna do what is needed. So let's go back to this original position. So he hips on top of the knees. We're gonna simply shift this way, go there. So, so that was a lot of bending. I'm not gonna go after him, but that let's assume that that's what you did. So let's go ahead and solidify this, make this nice and straight shift everything so that was that was the wrong shift go back because what happened was the shift happened with your torso your torso led the move i want the whole side of you go so keep it there no stay there relax this keep this nice and engaged get the barrel going can we shift there so bring this forward a little bit more. So your ankle is right under your knee. Correct. That's right, come over here so people can see. Now, this hip is higher than this hip. So what you wanna do, Dean, is you don't wanna lead with the torso. Mm -hmm. You wanna keep, bring your foot forward a little bit more. You wanna keep the torso back Relax this, relax that. You want to aim. Pelvis and having some pain from some knee pain. On that side, yeah. knee pain yeah, from from surgery. Hurts. I don't know. Okay. Maybe. So what we want to do like then? It. This is a degradation from what I wanted to do. Dean just said that he was experiencing too much pain, which kind of makes sense because this is going to require a perfect stretching of the quad while you're not allowing the quad to have any help. So that is gonna yank on your knee quite a bit. So that just means that we're gonna go back one step. We're gonna do this now, Dean. We're gonna keep this here. Okay. Stack on top of the knees. We're gonna go into almost the seven month pose. So I'm just gonna go sit on my heels and the way you're gonna sit on your heels is not with your foot. I'm gonna go back this way. It's not gonna be with your foot being, your feet being that way, opening up. You're gonna sit on your heels and sit like that. This is how you're gonna stretch the quad. So you're gonna sit, you're gonna put your seat bone on top of your heels without opening your feet. Mm -hmm. Spread these a little bit. Are you 
are we okay? Yes. So, so far we can see that the quads are well. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go, we're gonna start with the knees, we're gonna stretch and we're gonna make sure that we're nice and square here. We're gonna pull the scapula down, bring the head up, pull this down. You're gonna use your glute, drop this down a little bit, come more. This is almost like a child's pose, only the right way of doing it. And you're gonna hip hinge up while you maintain that. Go up, so you're dropping here, you need to fix that. You're gonna maintain that and go forward into the six month pose. So bring this up, not from here again from here bring your neck up drop this up you're gonna go into the six months so you're gonna drop that and bring remember your how the six, month six month pose is this one remember you were doing three here mm -hmm. and you pushed up yep. and you went up you're gonna be in that so you're gonna have to move your arms up a little bit your hands up and you're gonna drop the pelvis down Hold this up and drop this down and bring this part of your spine up, not with here. But you can see how Dean goes to this area for help and I'm not gonna let him do that. Pull this down. Do you feel your quads at all? No. So move your knees back a little bit. Do you feel that at all? No. You're okay then? Yep. Okay, so maintain this, push this up. Hip hinge back to the original sitting on the heels. Go all the way. Are you okay then? Drop yep. this a little bit and pull this down. And we're gonna go back and forth, so I'm gonna spare you of that. But this is a typical example of going with the pose and realizing there is a little adjustment that needs to be made. So we're gonna have to go one step down, practice that, go back and forth, and then revisit the pose we initially wanted to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and ask any questions you have. Take care.